Careful now. We don't want to cause a scene. I don't care. I'm not letting you out of my sight. Oh, good. You're dancing with her. Not bad for a convict. Speaking of which, how's it going with your partner in crime? Has he told you where the third egg is yet? Well, if he did, I wouldn't tell you. That's enough. We must not trust you. We are back with Dogadoke and Dwayne Johnson. That is their movie, Red Notice. The, um, you, your dancing is impressive, by the way. Is that something Thank you had to you. practice for, or you guys just We actually rehearsed? did, yes. We oh, you rehearsed did? it and everything. I was a bit nervous at the beginning. Were you? I was. Why? Jesus, you're a big guy. <laughs> and my toes are. Sensitive, you know, they're very She was afraid jet. I was gonna crush her toes. Yes, a little bit, not be a because- terrible dancer. Not in, yeah, yeah, I was, and I kept on telling DJ, we gotta, we gotta practice, we gotta rehearse, we gotta make sure we have this. And he was like, super cool, don't worry, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. It was. Turns out DJ is a ballerina. He's you are like a good dancer. light, <laughs> and amazing, and made it so much fun. Even though you, your feet are big, they're like, they are. Um, I'm a 10. No, I was talking about him, but oh, are you? <laughs> it's weird. I think it would be, it's not rude to tell a guy his feet are big, but it is rude to tell a woman her feet. I get it. Yeah. It oh, so you both have big feet. All right. Yeah. Well, I, will, I will say I had an amazing dance partner. I mean, she obviously she's very smart. She's brilliant. I've known her for 10 years, but also she's her, um, she's very long, so she knows how to accentuate. Uh, her curves, and I, I mean, do. when you guys see this scene, it's just beautiful. <laughs> and don't sell yourself short, Thank you. Dwayne. You are also very long, and you know how to accentuate your curves. He does. I try. It does. <laughs> Ow! Thank you, Mom. <laughs> the idea of the movie is, Dwayne, you're an FBI agent. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how much I can reveal about what happens, but you are trying to capture two art thieves. Right. Gal is one of them. Well, Gal the, just happens I'm to the be. Most she's the number one. one. Brian is the Brian's second. Brian's number most two. Good. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's why it didn't come. You make that very clear. <laughs> yes. And um, and you guys are uh, you know it's well I can't t talk too much about. Well, why don't you tell us what you can tell well, us about? Well, what we can't like Gal plays brilliantly. By the way, the uh -huh. this malevolent and very uh, evil in a way, but in a way that just well you fall in love with her as you always do, right? So. She is the world's most wanted art thief. I'm a really nice, most wanted art She's thief. Very nice, yes. Charming yes. one, but mean and evil. Yes, but, yeah. but no, but knows in a how nice to get way. what she wants. Right, yeah. so world domination. <laughs> uh, and Ryan is the second most wanted art thief in the world. I'm the FBI profiler, and what we do like to say is there's also the, the greatest con man that the world has never seen. Yeah. And there, along the way, as you guys go on this journey with us, when you see Red Notice, there's a surprise or two that happens. Carl, have you ever stolen anything for real? Yes. What'd you steal? <laughs> when I was in second grade, I stole a pack of markers from a friend of mine in class. Oh, really? Yes. It wasn't charming, it wasn't nice, and I got in a big... Uh, oh, you got caught. I was in a big trouble. My parents weren't... Wow. Your parents I, found it? I can cry to this day. <laughs> <laughs> I was so scared, and, I, and since then, I've never tried to ever steal anything. That's ever the only again. thing you ever stole? Yes. Yeah, because. And what a bad like attempt, right? If people probably just give you stuff. You don't need to steal anything, right? <laughs> Yeah, what about Dwayne? You, have you... Uh... The same, I was just about to say. DJ is like, he doesn't need to steal. He just comes and he said, give it to me. Who will mess with DJ? <laughs> you know? That's right. And it's kind yeah. of stealing. <laughs> That's called robbing. Yeah, don't encourage robbing. Of Unarmed <laughs> robbery. I have. I, I, I tell this story. I, I uh, had been known over the course of my life to steal um, hearts. <laughs> so, Dwayne, you're a producer on the movie. Does that mean you're Gal's boss on, on this? No. For life. No. 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 <laughs> no. 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 Uh, but you know something it's, uh, that is amazing. I sometimes I have a sus like I suspect you for being a robot because I'm like, you're how a robot. could it be? Yeah. First of all, <laughs> this buddy, right? This is unreal. No, you gotta work out and 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 oh, you do. And, like consume oh, and be that's like. That's your secret. Then he remembers. No, no, no. Then he can dance. Then he remembers everyone's like he remembers all the people 
all around us, names, <laughs> like by the name. Is that true? My makeup artist, my security guy, the, 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 he makes us all look really bad. How does that work? And <laughs> Honestly, do you set out to, when you, to meet everyone and to remember their names? Do you like actually consciously think about it or do you yeah. just have a brain? He cares about it. He would ask me, what's it? your security guy's name? And uh, then yeah. he'll remember. It, it doesn't come naturally. Uh, I'm not that smart, but so I do make an effort to make sure because I do meet a lot of people. Because he's a people. nice guy. I mean, wow. he's a That's why you're the boss. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course. Did you guys shoot this during the pandemic? Was this? Yes, yeah. we have. Oh, boy. Yeah. We did. We, we shot, well, first we shot maybe, I think, a, almost a month. Then we had to shut down. And as a matter of fact, we were on our way to Rome uh, before we had to shut down, as the world shut down. And then when we came back to shoot, we came back to shoot as uh, at, right in the middle of the pandemic. So I got to tell you, as, as we've all had to deal with the pandemic, I, and I know I could speak for Gal on this, we're really so proud of our crew because we had 1,000 crew members who committed to this movie uh, all Name them. Go well, through. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Tony. Donna, Freckles. <laughs> uh, and they were amazing. And we shot the movie, and, and now here we are months later. The director of this film, somebody you've worked with multiple times before. Ross and Thurber. Is this yeah. the thing where, where the director, you're like, I like, this is the guy I like, and then we're just gonna do a lot of stuff together? Uh, well, yeah, and I love Ross, and he's great, and you guys are really going to enjoy the movie. And he, uh, so I'll tell you, I'll give you an example really quickly of how we know each other, we, like the back of our hands. There's a scene in the movie where I drive a Taycan. Is that how we say it? Like a Porsche uh, Taycan. Am I saying you're, that right? You're asking me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I right at you. Yes. I, I didn't it even is. know yes. it was a car. Right. Yes. So it's a car, very small Porsche. It's basically. a small Porsche, but it's incredibly expensive, and it's an amazing vehicle. So we uh, purchased two of them for our movie. And uh, finally, on the day, we're supposed to shoot this scene where I run out and I'm chasing Ryan Reynolds and then eventually we're chasing her and I had to jump in the Porsche and speed away and it's all one big, long, really cool ass shot. We film all the shot, about 80, 90% of it and then comes time for me to jump in the car and Ross and said, okay, all right, let's, let's get you in the car. And I said, yeah, okay. And I go over and I start getting in the car and I'm like, oh man, I'm really <laughs> trying to get in the car. And I look at him and we have all the crew around and they're watching me and I said, I can't get in this car. <laughs> and he says, you're kidding me. And I went, I'm not, dude. Like, I can't <laughs> literally, like, I was like this, and my ass was trying to get in the car. And he's like, excuse me for cussing. He goes, you're kidding me right now. It's like, no, I'm not. I can't get in the car. But at this point, I'm you have you, to be in robot. that car. I'm telling you, a robot. It's a huge I have to be in the car. Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I have to be in the car. So I oiled myself up, slanked myself into the car. <laughs> And then when you see the movie, you'll see the scene starts with, like, my hand on the shift and then driving away. Wow. That's yeah. crazy. You're too big for vehicles. Yes. Too big for vehicles. Right. <laughs> We're going to take a break. When we come back from the break, I have a little challenge for you. I, I, I want to see what you guys learned um, in this world of art heists. Uh, oh, Gal Gadot okay. and Dwayne Johnson are with us. The movie is called Red Notice. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.